Well, what a way to end the week. You are looking live over a very warm Pittsburgh where temperatures are already in the 80s and it is going to get a lot hotter from here. First alert meteorologist Felicia Woody joining us now and Felicia, there are so many events going on this weekend and of course people are going to have to really take the heat seriously because 90 we're not used to it, especially this early in the season. And I know that I'm not originally from here. We're both from the south, so we understand 90s are normal, but right. in western Pennsylvania when we hit 90, that's as about as hot as it gets right so this is very serious heat that we're dealing with so just remember your heat precautions as you're out and about mm -hmm. but at least enjoy the sunshine don't forget to lather on the sunscreen and drink plenty of water look at all the people down at the point they are probably trying to get some of that mist from the fountain to cool off we're already at 81 degrees in pittsburgh 82 in zelianople 86 in beaver so it is toasty out there to say the least now when it comes to the heat we have to factor in the humidity. So we look at the dew points for this. These numbers are currently in the 50s. When they're in the 60s, that's when it starts getting a little muggy. So thankfully they're in the 50s. It's more of a quote dry heat, even though it's not really that dry, <laughs> but at least we're not dealing with any kind of rain. We're still forecasting about 90 degrees for this afternoon. So a good one to do some cannonballs and hop right into the pool. A lot of them are open now since they opened up on Memorial Day weekend. The sun's going to be shining all day, but keep in mind UV index value is very high. It's at eight, so you can sunburn very easily. And just about 20 minutes ago, the Three Rivers Arts Fest kicked off. So it is hot this afternoon. It will be again tomorrow. Sunday's looking like the most decent day because it'll be in the low 80s and it'll be the driest day. Now we're going to have a decently dry weekend. The thing is a couple of showers may try to fall for Saturday in the afternoon and evening, but not everyone is expected to see it. By the time we head into Sunday, we're all dry, filled with sunshine, and the temperatures are going to drop just a little bit. Now, every other day, there's a spotty rain chance, not enough to quench our lawns, but a spotty rain chance, something that we really could use. We, at this point, I think we're okay with some deluges. We just don't want it during the weekend. Just next week, a couple of hit or miss showers from Monday and Wednesday. Every other day is going to be dry. We factor in that humidity over the next few days with the heat, and thankfully we're still in the comfortable range. It's not too muggy out there. And next week, get ready for a huge cool down. So if you were not a fan of this heat, wait till next week because highs will be lowering back down into the 70s. So we're staying with the scorching weather today and tomorrow, upper 80s, near 90, very mild overnight. Not one of those nights where you leave the windows open and hope it cools off. It's going to stay very warm overnight, mid 60s for your overnight low. And we're backing off, really backing off, I should say, down into the 70s for next week. In fact, we're looking at Wednesday with a high of only 71 degrees.